Figures for ITV News have shown that sales of euros in the UK are up more than 300 percent. It's because buying euros is the cheapest it's been for seven years and travellers are rushing to grab a bargain holiday on the continent. But there are fears that the UK tourist industry will suffer as a result. Here's our consumer editor, Chris Choi. There's a massive rise in the number of pounds being turned into euros as people buy now, travel later. But for tourists and destinations, there'll be winners and losers. If you go back to 2009, where the pound was roughly at parity, so one to one, people are getting 30% more now. So it's actually creating demand for people to travel to places in Europe because they're seeing it's now good value. Their pounds going that 30% more. We've been given figures showing the number of pounds being exchanged to euros has grown by up to 360%. There's been an 87% rise in travellers exchanging more than a thousand pounds at a time. But the quantity of euros changed back into pounds is down 15%. Accommodation firm Owners Direct says inquiries are rising fast for holiday properties priced in euros like this on the Costa del Sol. People out of the Eurozone are definitely onto a winner before they even start. When they arrive here, they um, uh, and start spending their money, they get a third extra, so uh, there's bargains all around, really. Brits spend more than £19 billion a year travelling abroad in the EU, and the promise of savings will be a boost here. But there's a downside too. Today, one tourism chief says government action is needed to ensure UK resorts don't suffer as travellers get this new incentive to go overseas. The urgency is that you know, exchange rates have an impact because tourism is very price elastic, it's very price sensitive. So tourists will see an opportunity through exchange rate changes, for example, and think, wow, it's so much cheaper now to be able to take a holiday abroad. The UK travel trade wants changes in the forthcoming budget to lower VAT on its products to help it cope with issues such as the euro. But the tide seems against them. Today, the value of the pound against the euro moved again giving travellers to Europe even better value. Chris, you mentioned winners and losers. How do you make sure you're a winner? Well, good question. In fact, I've just lost the phone to the Exchange Bureau staff and they've told me that the current rate is just below €1.35 Euros to a pound. A lot of people remember when it was like parity. Yeah, yeah. For one euro. You do have to be nimble. A lot of the brochure prices will remain the same. I've spoken to Aptra about this. They say it's because a lot of the operators pre-bought the accommodation and all the other services. There is something they call dynamic packaging where you can ask a travel agent to actually build your holiday there in real time. We are now uh, an all-inclusive holidaying nation. This, I think, will mean that more people will consider self-catering, which may be a good option because there's so many savings to be had in resorts. When you're out there. Chris Choi, thank you.